there is one terminology that is associativity means when you want to create a feature what is that associativity and how design engineer should think while creating the model that i want to explain to you now you have created this particular feature next feature you want to create say this is one flange for example right now if you create this feature this is a small feature you have created now what you are doing you are creating one sketcher plane which is the back face of this particular feature right and now what are you doing you are doing you are just creating this type of sketch and again you will go for the pad or extrude command right now this feature is a dependent feature getting my point means if you change this feature this also will change so as a design engineer you have to understand whether i want to create dependent feature or independent feature sometimes dependent features are required no doubt about it but design engineer is having that clarification or that visualization that after some time what could be the possible changes in my product as per that you have to select the datums now second methodology see you have created this particular feature so what you are going to do suppose this distance is say 15 mm now i will use datum command and i will select this plane that yz plane i will select and i will use the command that is offset or distance so when i select yz plane i will give distance say 15 mm right now i got this plane i will take this as a sketcher i will make this type of profile and when i create the component feature that is by using command extrude or pad this is independent feature means even though you modify this feature this is not going to be affected getting my point so wisely you have to select datums right coming to the next part then next part is constraint geometry very important when you start your sketcher mode you are using sketching commands so the first thing we have to ensure that your sketch is fully constrained in case of katia there is one tool that is sketch analysis you can use that tool and it will tell you whether your geometry is constrained or not then next check for a closed geometry when you create a sketch it should be closed sketch means if the sketch is open you cannot create solid model by using commands like extrude or revolve so there are options available in cad software how you can check this then third one check for duplicate entity now what happens design engineer is working in the company and generally there is some pressure work pressure is there and when you create the sketch sometimes you create duplicate geometries or overlapping geometries and you don't know when you are creating that so there are some tools available in sketcher mode when you click on that particular command that will show you which are those duplicate entities and same thing here if the entity is duplicate then when you come out of that sketcher mode you cannot create the 3d model by using commands like extrude or revolve then next is animate dimension very powerful command some softwares they say animate dimension or some softwares they say animate constraint so what is the use of animate dimension again this is one important question generally asked during interview so i am going to share with you some important questions note down all these questions all right animate dimension means you can check the behavior of your sketch so how to use this command when you create your sketch you give some dimensions so click on animate dimension or animate constraint command and select one dimension and it will show you the behavior of the sketch and there you will understand which are those constraints i have to provide so animate dimension command is used to, to check the behavior of the sketch and at the same time you will understand which are those areas i have to provide constraints so when you are going for interview 
ensure that you are creating this sketch which is fully constrained next why solid modeling so the first approach when you start making model you have to go for solid modeling so what is solid modeling solid modeling means modeling done with the help of solid features like extrude revolve or sweep that is called as a solid modeling so what is the benefit of solid modeling number 1 it's a fast process number 2 easy to modify so there are two important skills friends i want to share with you one is that when you create your model you should be able to create complex 3d model that is one second aspect you should be able to edit your model and you must know all the options of editing commands see imagine you are working as a design engineer and you are working on a particular project 15 20 days are over and one day your boss is calling you and he is saying that uh, see your colleague ha he has resigned from company so you just stop your activities and now his activities your friend now he is resigning right so now you take the charge so what is your reaction so we don't like to work on others project right why first thing comes in our mind that something wrong he must have done right and what will be the problems i don't know what he has done so many people they have this we can say they are reluctant but friends consider this as an opportunity many editing commands you are going to learn from working on the project which is just 50% over like that same thing suppose you are working in production department or quality department when there are some mistakes some modifications are required be there in the company and just see what these people they are doing what corrective action they are taking some jugad activities sometimes they are done in the company right so that is a learning stage same thing here when you edit the model many things you learn so that part also we are going to understand here then third one it is more flexible you have that flexibility and next one that is a most commonly used method now next part in solid modeling there are two important commands one is fillet and second is draft you have to achieve mastery on these two commands i want to show you some components here see this component everywhere you can see the fillets you can see this is called as a male fillet this is called as a female fillet now one more important question generally asked during interview why fillets are provided so no doubt to reduce stress concentration better handling safety manufacturing constraint that is also there okay so friends thank you for joining this session today i shared some important things with you go into the depth learn the things when you are going for the interview just go through all these points and it will be very helpful for you